Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, I'm using OBS, not OBS Streamlabs. I'm hoping that's going to be better. Hopefully it will be. I do have a stream to do for Slytherin afterwards, so it's going to be a shorter one than usual. I'm hoping that the actual audio is going to be okay. So, hopefully somebody jumps into the chat quick. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. I like that. Okay. How you doing there, Voken? Right, Voken, you could do me a massive favour. How does the audio sound now? Is it okay? Is it loud enough? Is it too quiet? Is it, is it okay? I'm working with OBS this time, as you can see. And, um... I don't know, I, I think I might be able to increase the volume, but it doesn't seem like it. That's annoying. Oh, it seems like I might be able to. Okay, yeah, I can, so that's good. So quiet and then the other streams, right, okay. Uh, how is that? Let's see, try another two decibels louder, perhaps. Is that any better? But it's fine. Um, hope, I mean, I can actually adjust the volume here, so let's see. Can I go, yeah, I can actually go louder now, so that's good. Let's try a little bit louder then. Okay. Is that any better? Should be, it's another three decibels there. A slight static now. I tell you what, I've, I don't know why it's being worse. And it really pisses me off. I don't know. Um, I've moved the microphone a closer anyway. Um, just trying some of these settings here on the side of the damn thing. What does that do? Is that louder? No, I don't know what that does. Anyway, I don't have too much time here, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the stream. Um, I will be doing a War of the East 2 stream here shortly. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That sounds pretty good, actually. So, Dadman has said regarding the destroyed escorts, I said to him it's up to him what he wants to do regarding them. And he says, well, I'm going to go ahead and put them into port, so that's fine. He says um, he played a game in earlier, sorry, he played another game earlier, and they had a mod where it allowed for destroyer conversions to be allowed earlier. So he says he had confused the two. And he hadn't realised it actually wasn't meant to be the case. So he's now realised, he's apologised, and he says, obviously, yeah, well, as, as last time, he gave me the choice saying, well, do I want that? And I said to him, he can do as he pleases. So he's decided to go ahead and put them in port. Long-winded way to explain something simple there. I'll move a little bit closer to the microphone. That's crazy, though. It's a really good microphone. It shouldn't be struggling to pick me up from this distance. I'm going to have to fiddle around with the settings. Okay. Right, so they're heading down here to measure a PB, and then they're heading in here. Uh, it was a mod. Um, I'm not sure how. He says that there's some sort of exploits. I'll ask. I'll have to ask him how he's done it, actually. Sorry, um, that's what I meant to say. Okay, so we are seeing some rings in this area. Well, yeah, there you go, Plumber. Uh, plumber Solution is superior. Ah, uh, Suzuki misses over there, that's good. They're heading to the north, so they should be outside range. Uh, oh, wow, has that been captured already? Wow, okay. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, what I'm going to do then is a naval guard unit that's going to be essentially linking up over here at the bow. It'll have more than enough AV, uh, but it's being drawn from the southern Dutch East Indies, so the other one that is going to be picked up that I was considering picking up I think I'll have a portion of that unit moved to the size 3 port next to Kagayan, uh, just to make sure he doesn't... Mm, well, I don't think it actually matters, really. It should be okay. So we have the Heavy Cruiser Nachi here bombarding the forces here, alongside a couple destroyers. The reason for this is just to... If he's going to try to attack us, um, try and disrupt him. Something of that nature, really. That did a fair amount of damage there to the runway. Not so much the troops, though. And then we do have destroyers here bombarding, too. So we do have the Kiku, the Akikaze, not Akikaze, the Marakumo. 
Asuyuki. There we go. A little bit of fire venom in the KI now. Regiment. Uh, anything big today? No, we're kind of waiting for things just to work out, to be honest. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Now, there's a number of islands I'm going to be capturing in this area. I do have a bunch of uh, patrol boats heading out to these islands to take these, but these islands should hopefully be captured today. Yeah, uh, hopefully we take all three of these islands here today. I'm using destroyers, but what I want to do with it is actually push out and take control of these islands pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, that's true, therefore, but it's worth it in case the attacks. So those forces are in strategic mode, so they're at a severe uh, disadvantage right now. He probably won't attack, but it, it's fine. At the end of the day, we can repair them. Okay, so we have those three there, which is good. We'll be branching out to take islands in the New Hebrides and the uh, Espirito Santo area. Okay. So, we're now to the night phase into the day. I'm not expecting anything really major, to be honest. So, we're seeing ships around Wake. Oh, hello. We are seeing ships there in the Bay of Bengal. He might be trying to test us uh, potentially once again. Uh, right, okay, that's interesting then. The Tempe Maru has been snooped there. That's actually pretty telling because that Tempe Maru, uh, depending on where she is. Okay, so we are seeing three Hawk 75Ms been engaged here by eight Key 43 1C Oscars. What I decided to do is take this squadron of Sally's over here and reduce them to only eight, well, to only 20% flying today. I anticipated them actually throwing fighters out. So I'm glad that these are the um, War Hawks. They are hawks, but they're not war hawks, so at least that's something we can work with. But I wanted to reduce the amount of bombers just to make sure they would actually cover it a little bit better, but also still be able to bomb the airbase. But now that we actually are finally shooting down these fighters, really quite nice as well, we can go ahead and throw more bombers there quite safely. So that's good news. Okay, these pilots are doing pretty fantastic so far. And this is it, the Oscar works really quite well against opposition like this. I mean, most things work well against opposition like this. I-15's damage there, good. Can we shoot down the last one? We do have four more aircraft remaining. Looks like we're still diving. I do wonder what altitude's coming in at. We're at 31,000 feet if I do bleed, so we do have a dramatic advantage here. Okay, trailing off with the smoke. Looks like we won that. And that's good, yeah, so at least two Hawks destroyed there, roughly. Yeah, we came in at 31,000 feet. Um... I'm not sure what altitude that they're coming at. Not entirely sure what altitude they were at. I don't have a tremendous amount of time today. I do have a stream of War in the East at 8 o'clock, so if you guys would like to join that, that'd be cool. We do have our Sallies here launching today. Yep, they're going to be bombing the ground forces. The reason for that is I do not want them to be able to pull out to Changsha uh, quickly. It doesn't appear that he's moving right now, and I'm hoping that he's going to stay like that. But I don't want to give him any ability to get out of Changsha. In two more turns, we'll have Shang Tan, or Xian Tan. We'll have uh, Xian Tan in two more turns. Uh, our forces should arrive here at Xiaoyang today. And then we should be able to take Xiaoyang the day after. And then I'm going to march over here to Chikyang. We're not too far away from Tuyun as well, so we're a couple days from Tuyun. Um, okay, what's important here is just that they're attacking the actual forces here. That's all that matters. Bombing the airfield would be better, but I'm bombing the ground troops just to try to prevent them from moving right now. He's got some sort of formidable AA to actually damage them. I'm pulling the division and the tanks and some of the artillery here from Bandwang. The infantry regiments are going to remain, um, as well as a small artillery unit. What I'm going to go ahead and do then with the division I'm pulling out of Java is we're actually going to have that potentially used either for Bord Moresby. I am pulling the... Um, I think it's the 6th Division. I think it's the 6th Division that's in the Marsh Islands. I'm pulling the 6th Division out of the Marsh Islands to have them move down towards the Port Moresby area. And I figured well, we could send a 2nd Division as well, as well as some armour and some artillery. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Well, we might have it sent to the Port Moresby area. It probably wouldn't hurt to have two divisions do it, but it does depend. Okay, so we are bombing here once again. That's good, then. 
I figure he offloaded some supply, really. That's what I figured he was doing, really. Okay, so we do see a few more. We do have 10 Oscars here and 6 Sallies. I mean, this is why I reduced the numbers, just to make sure that we did have more uh, escorts than we did bombers, just to make sure they weren't being ripped up. Uh, we should be okay. I think these guys are going to be just rifle caliber. I mean, they could still shoot down the bombers, but it's obviously not as easy for them. Okay, that's another one damage there, another one diving, and we're down to just one I-16. I'm glad that he's finally using these fighters. I've been worried about those guys. Well, I've been worried about those guys for a long time, actually. Okay, hitting the supply dumps, nice. So we'll be able to increase the amount of size once again hitting the airfields. But I'm very glad that we actually get to shoot these guys down. Damaged. And that's that. That's a very, very favorable exchange right there. Okay. He's still running the Blenheims. We're going to have the actual tanks over here engage. I'm going to be interested to see if it is the tank battalion, because if it is the tank battalion, I'm going to be very happy about that. If it's not the tank battalion, then I'm going to be quite confused as to where it might have gone. So there we go. Moving into the air phase PM here. Okay. Yeah, he's moving his carriers there. Looks like he's trying to move his carriers towards Japan, actually, which is interesting. How you doing there, Ove? Good to have you. Uh, why don't you have Cap over that unit in Burma? Uh, see, this is a problem. We have done in the past, and then he's thrown fighters. It's one of those where it's a situation of we can put the um, key 44 Tojos up, but there is a very real risk that they might be escorted by hurricanes. I don't know. It's one of those. We've had it in the past... Yeah, so it looks like he's sending his carriers to Japan. I mean, obviously we're going to lose another um, 4 VP or so AK, but this is it. It reveals information. It also has him waste some of his ammunition, his sorties. Not a lot of sorties, obviously he's got far more sorties, but it takes up some ammunition. But it reveals to us what he has in that area, ideally. Uh, but she's taken quite a few bombs there, actually. But there we go, so we know that he's heading potentially towards Japan once again. Which is great, because then we'll be ready for him on his arrival. Hey, didn't they? Kag? Good to have you, my friend. Is she going to hit by more bombs? Yeah, she's taking a lot of bombs. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of bombs there. She's soaking up a fair amount of bombs there. Yeah, she finally goes down, but she took 11,000 pounds of bombs there. 11,000 pounds. Those are some big-ass bombs. Yeah, you can see that these are escorted by the buffaloes. So I'm going to be hopeful that we do have some information on that task force. It does look like it's in the North Pacific as well, so it looks like he's heading back to Japan. And there we go, that strategy is working out, bearing fruit already. Now, it would be very interesting, hopefully we do have some good information to work with. But it does give us some solid information to go from there. And that means that, well, we might actually be able to use the kid of a die in a way... Uh, an aggressive manner, perhaps, but we'll see. If he heads to Japan, he's not going to be too happy with the results, so he'll be quite happy to take that engagement. How you doing there, Alex? Good to have you, my friend. Good to have you. Okay, so we're bombarding once again. You can see that these forces are being attrited away. Um, we'll have reinforcements crossing over here shortly, and then we'll be able to attack once again. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I mean, how many thousands of pounds of bombs do you need to take out an AK? I mean, him him using 11,000 uh, pounds, like 11,000 pound bombs, is, is actually pretty good for the AK. They're definitely dead. They're definitely, definitely dead. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to break through this. A lot of issues will be routed completely, I'd imagine. <laughs> Excuse me. And we do see that there's a war area in here. He, he has a central reserve command here, those are army commands. And he's actually getting his ass kicked by this bombardment so far. So 15 destroyed here again today. We had 600 destroyed yesterday, another 548 destroyed here today. So 15 destroyed, 33 disabled, 2 non-combatants destroyed, 4 disabled, 2 engineers disabled, 1 gun destroyed, 3 disabled. Excuse me, and we're looking at 827AV there apparently. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and bombard over here just to see what we're actually dealing with. 
I also thought, well, if the bombardment's favourable, I might do it just to make sure he uses some of his supply. And it looks like uh, no casualties inflicted nor sustained. Excuse me. But if, if he's actually running counter battery fire, that's going to use supply, I believe. And they retreat. That's a shame. They should have been destroyed there. So they've gone over here. But I think there are roads over here anyway. Yeah, there's roads here. So that's good. And we can go ahead and chase them. So 192 casualties. It's a shame that they didn't surrender there, actually. And we do have a shock attack against the 4th Warrior HQ, the 31st Chinese Corps, the 2nd Chinese Space Force, and the 9th Chinese Space Force. I'd imagine they're going to be done, but we'll see. No, they continue to retreat towards Chikiang. Are they going to go north? If they go north, that's okay, because I'll be crossing up that way anyway. Yeah, they do. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's better for him, but we're going to be actually marching up that way and crushing him again anyway. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't surrender, but that's okay. Oh, so it is the 7th Armoured Brigade, so it still has some AV here to work with. Now, we do have more uh, tank regiments heading up north there. So, we had 4 destroyed, 9 disabled here. So, that wasn't particularly favourable for us here. But yeah, these are light tanks going up against Stuarts. The Stuarts are superior tanks. But there we go, we know what we're going up against. So, that's actually some decent uh, AV there. But we do have 2 tank regiments heading up north already. Uh, there's another tank regiment heading here, but at least we know where to send our forces now. So the armoured brigade can be destroyed, and that's good news. <laughs> Excuse me. So in this area, I'm pulling out the 56th division, I'm pulling out the... Oh, they've already... Oh no, the 17th medium field artillery regiment will be pulling out as well. I think I'll probably pull out the 16th army, but I'm going to leave behind the regiment. There we go, and we do have a shock attack against the Balapap and base force over here. Hopefully they just surrender, but I can't imagine them. Are they going to retreat? Where are they going to retreat towards? Sing Tank? Oh, for God's sakes. I just wish they'd be destroyed, to be honest. They should just surrender. Okay, so we're taking these islands off here. We'll branch out to take these other islands in the area, too. I do want to grab Ontong Java, too. But what I want to go ahead and do is essentially prevent him having any base in the area. Um, that would allow him to base PPYs. Oh, so that's difficult, but we've got to really push it out. Really got to push that envelope out. So, we've had some important information revealed to us once again, and AK has sacrificed its life once more, but it does reveal to us that, well, he, in fact, may be heading once again to Japan. And the thing is, he's he's going to know he's running into another AK now. So is he going to continue on that on that journey? That's the thing. Okay, more upgrades being taken... On there. That's fine. I think what I'm going to do is like set up my microphone uh, boon somewhere. Figure out where it can go. And then at least I can actually have the microphone closer to my mouth once again. So that seems to be the only way to fix things. It's not even that far away, which is funny. Okay, so we don't have too long here, so I'm going to go ahead and load up the actual save, and we'll take a quick look. Uh, could an AK sink an aircraft carrier? Ah! Ah, I mean, if the aircraft carrier wasn't fighting back and was in dock, maybe. I mean... Uh, I patrol... <sighs> A patrol boat could probably sink a carrier. At the end of the day, if you get a chance to fire munitions into a into any ship, you'll eventually be able to sink it. It's just, I I think it would probably be able to damage it if it got the chance, but a carrier have to be asleep. Even carriers have guns. And they still have armor. Yeah, I get what you mean, therefore. Um, the only issue with this is, I think, rather than wait here for siege, because right now, what I intend to do, actually, is I believe... Uh, shortly, I'm going to take the Sallies from in here in China, and I think I could have them move down, uh, potentially down here to Java and the area of Java, and bomb that base and really get some pressure on him there. But it's like, for the time being, I think I could probably achieve more objectives in the meantime. At the end of the day, Kigayan will be freed up in the near future as well, so I'll be able to take that division there and have it moved over here to Java. I might even have a division in Java move to Mindanao, to Kigayan. Um, I'm not too sure. I just think it's not really doing us any good right now. I could probably take away more AV, in all honesty. Yeah, but we had those armor units that weren't doing any good. Excuse me. 
Yeah, so we do have the tank regiments heading north. There we are. Yep, they're heading north now. Yes, I'm going to be streaming War in the East in about 28 minutes on the Slytherin channel. So do go ahead and check that out. Okay. I'm, I was going to garrison something there, but I'll just fly some units to Ramry Island rather than march them. Okay, we do see over here um, auxiliary aircraft. It's not a CV. It's probably some sort of cruiser, really. Our forces have arrived over here at Akya, so we'll take Akya. That's good. Right, okay. We do have these forces marching south. Yeah, so what I'm going to go ahead and do then is I'm not going to have them attack. I'm going to have them just sit here. They took some losses, but at the end of the day, they're still here. They're still 39, and they were smaller. I mean, these are light tanks. These are the Type 95, so they're not exactly amazing. But we know what to deal with now. Well, sorry, we know what we're dealing with now. Uh, fourth RTA. They can head there. Then what I'm going to do is have that unit cross over here to Magway. Yeah, I didn't intend to use the power trooper unit. Uh, we own the base. I could. Uh, yeah, well, actually, no, it's not airfield, so I'd have to use the power troopers. But I don't mind using that. Something small. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'll probably just do a fast transport, in all honesty. A fast transport would be a lot easier and a lot faster, to be honest. We'll likely do that. That's a little bit awkward for the supply situation over here, which is why that's a little bit rougher. But that's fine. Okay, so there's only 20 in the base, but the division's there. We do have a road, of course, that goes around here, so they're not uh, without supply, and obviously there's a road here. It's just going to be harder for them. But we'll be able to get supply here once we actually do open this up. The issue is in Burma, supply doesn't move very quickly um, at the best of times. So uh, there's not much that can be done about that. Okay, get a margin. Okay, so over here at Kyanko, he's still attempted to go north. I'll be doing it on the Slytherin channel. I get paid to do it on the Slytherin channel. I'm going to set up the boon um, immediately after this, I reckon. Yep, so they're here. I wonder if it's actually quicker for them just to march to the north, to be honest. Uh, is that quicker? Let me see. Oops. Uh, it's clear to rain. There's no connecting roads. So they'd make about 10 miles a day, so they'd have five turns of that. Um, yeah, I think I can do that. I think five turns is not too bad, and then they can join that road there and go north. That's not too bad. We're suffering here on AV right now, but we are flying AV in, so that's okay. There's a little bit more AV over here that'd be crossing. I don't mind losing a little bit of BP here for the time being. There's obviously a big risk here, but he's not moving right now. Yeah, they should be good to go. That is 1,292 AV there. Should be solid. We do have our forces that are moving across the river here. So they're going to be across and at this base in two days, Shangtan. What I'll go ahead and do is probably bomb these troops over here, just to make sure they don't leave Shangtan. Uh, but it doesn't appear to be moving here, which is good for me. I'm moving additional forces out over here too. Those forces moving there. What I could go ahead and do then is probably fly a couple more um, transports. I forget which base they're being flown from. Oh, they're being flown from. Where are they being flown from? Oh, they're... Right, okay. Set all transports. Right, there we go. So they're going to carry on and take um, additional elements of the 65th to... Yeah, that's fine. These units over here, uh, a majority of them are broken. I mean, we could go for a deliberate attack. Uh, it's probably okay for a shock attack. He's going to have low supply in this area, I imagine. We know that four of those units were 
remainders from Heng Yang. 32. I think a shock attack is okay. I might change it to a deliberate attack depending on how I'm feeling on the day, but we'll see. With it being cleared terrain, it's pretty good. We do have three divisions. Obviously, they're not... I mean, two are in pretty damn good shape. This one's obviously got some disabled, but it should be okay. Should be okay. I might go for it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I might change it to deliberate. But this is probably one of the few times I'm actually feeling like a shock attack is worthwhile. <laughs> and that is a rare time. Okay. Yep, so just waiting on the reinforcements and our fatigue and disruption to uh, disappear, really. Yeah, they'll be across the river shortly. Yeah, so I'm going to send about ooh, um, about three days, maybe. Three, four days. I think in about four days, everything should be across that river. Now we want to cross that river. And then we should be sufficiently rested then to attack. We should be able to break through at that point. It's just the 110th division that I need to recover. And some of these other ones here. So at least another day. At least another day. I am tempted to potentially drive home the attack again, but I think it's worthwhile waiting for the reinforcements. And considering that they're so close by. Okay, so they're going to head south. There we are. They're heading south too. Looking good. Forces headed north. Oh, he's actually moved. Wow, that's that's actually really awesome. Thank you so bloody much. I'm really happy he's done that. Uh, that's saving me a hell of a lot of time there. Saving me a hell of a lot of time. How many points are in armaments and vehicles pools? I've restarted production of armaments. It seems to be um, under duress at the moment. We are producing 620. And uh, we have 2915 in the pool here. It'll eventually build back up. I think at the moment we're probably... I don't know. Um, I think with the arrival of new units and potentially upgrades and that, that's probably using a few more points. Uh, but once actual fighting dies down, that should be fine. But we have nearly 10,000 points there in the vehicle pool, so we're doing okay there. Armaments is okay. We'll be able to build that pool back up, and it's absolutely A-OK -okay right now. Okay. They're moving very slowly, Ben. How fast are they moving? 16. That should be okay. Um, We could probably upgrade tanks. Not every one of them does have a TOE upgrade. I'll have them set to upgrade anyway, just in case. Yes, I know there's a unit over here. It's the units that we kicked out of here at Paoshan. It's not that we met them, it's just that we simply kicked them out to the north. And we're heading north anyway. So they're marching here to Tuyun. So they will be here tomorrow, and then about, what, two or so days we'll be here at Tuyun. Not Paoshan. I don't know where... I don't know what... Pao Tao is. Pao Tao. I don't know what you mean. Oh, Pao Tao. Oh, yeah, that one here. Yeah, um, we already know about that one. It's a decent brigade. Well, it's not a massive unit, but it's one of those that I do need to go ahead and get a little bit more AV to deal with. But we have a couple of brigades over here that'll be moving over here to the north once they're ready. I know what you mean now. Okay. Yeah, so we're looking pretty good. We'll have a look and see where his carriers are shortly. I'm sending AKs over here to go ahead and pick up these forces, and I do have a number of actual uh, CLs and DDs over here to help move forces. I'll have to decide what I want to do, but I just don't think that the division's doing a great deal here. I could have them attack, but I'm like, well, is it worthwhile? Because Bandoeng's not going exactly anywhere. And yes, true, taking Bandoeng would free up these troops, but then I'm thinking, well, isn't it just worthwhile to come back to it with overwhelming force? I don't know, it depends really. 
I don't know. Uh, I think I'm probably going to have the bombers uh, spend some time softening it up, really. Oh, they're heading south. Right, I see. Okay, so we have our destroyer here. That's unloaded, which is good. They're moving north over here, then. I'll probably have one of them detached and actually take uh, Butian as well. We've not seen the uh, Royal Navy carriers for a long time, actually. Right, they're moving in there too. Interesting, though, but it's actually moved submarines into this area here. He hadn't been doing that beforehand. Yeah, we'll take a look at that now. Aircraft loss here today, so he has at least three of the Hawks, at least three of the I-16s. Uh, we have a Lily go down to Ops, a G go down to Ops, and a Jake there. Okay. Uh, he sank the Temper, Temper, what, Tempe Maru with 11,000 pounds of bombs. We'll have a look at that in a second. Yeah, the good news is that he's using those fighters, so it looks like they might have actually been trash fighters all this time, and I've been overly cautious, but then again, the risk was quite great. Oh yeah, he's all the way up here in the north, then. Interesting. So, we still have our tripwire over here. So that's good. I mean, at the end of the day, he's going to waste his time on these guys, so that's fine. Oh no, we're not going to destroy the light industry. We'll eventually come back and take it. Uh, we did have the actual submarines over here return to Paramount Shirojima. So we still have submarines in this area that could actually pursue him. But that's a very, very bloody bold move by him. We know that there's definitely um, carriers in this air, uh, in this AO, because they attacked us, so we know that. But that's very bold of him. He's heading back to Japan here, but we know about that now. Which means that we can actually ready ourselves ahead of time, which is fantastic. I'm going to say to Gary, it was my idea to have the air division stationed here at Torofu or in the north. That's looking quite viable right now. <laughs> it's okay, we don't need it. Um, we should be okay. We have the range out here anyway. But yeah, there we go. We do have submarines returning over here, so we'll be able to have the submarines moved. We do have the air forces ready now, so that's good. I probably will do it again in the future, but this is why we have the ships out there just to act as a tripwire. He might even just look to uh, sink these ships, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, he's wasting his time more than I am. It does give some opportunities, potentially, though. Because we could move forward now to Wake Island to be more aggressive, perhaps. Or I could even look forward... I could potentially even look towards moving to Midway. I don't think we'd have the time to get there, considering he's 27 away. And we are 38 away, so he could return quicker than we could. But that would have been nice to be able to hit midway. But there we go, we have our information to work with. We are moving the division out of the area here. I would make orders, but I do not have long here. Yep, so we'll be taking these islands. I do have all these PBs moving to take these islands here. We're going to be moving then to take these islands. Essentially what we're doing now is pushing out aggressively. We do see a ship down here, so that's good information to have. We did see shipping around Palmyra, which was over here. So we saw at least a he well, apparently a heavy cruiser around here. So this is it. We started to push out now. We started to gain additional information here to work with, which is good news. Unyo is almost here. Almost home. That's good. Yep, there we go. So the ARD Dublin or Dublin arrived at Rabal and the SSOR 62 has gone inside the ARD to be properly repaired, which is good news. That's going to help us out. Okay. That's fine, I can get that back there. And oh, we do actually have the 8th Armoured Car in Hengyang being upgraded. New units have arrived over here, that's good. Yeah, so they're going to be upgraded to the tankette, so there we go. They've gone from the armoured car, so it's an armoured car unit for using tankettes. Which are better than the armoured cars, so that's fine by me. They're a little bit better, so they just need to recover. Uh, but we'll fly more units actually in here. I do have more transports over here that I can fly over here to Canton just to get the 65th Brigade moving sooner. He might move there, but I, I don't know. I don't think he will. Supplies are building up, so we'll be okay. I think it's worthwhile to be able to push on here quickly. 
So we'll have them set to support over here at Xiaoyang. I'll go ahead and bomb the units. Uh, probably bomb over here at Xiaoyang, but we'll see. Two days before we arrive here anyway. So I do want to make sure that he doesn't move. But we should be okay. These units will be across soon enough too. We're looking pretty good. Right, okay. San Francisco. He's definitely up to something at San Francisco. I'm not happy to see Dutch Harbour. Obviously, I did want to move on the Aleutians. So he's up to something over here. That's a lot of APs there. Yeah, I know. We'll be crossing as a shock. That's fine. It's two divisions over here anyway. So the 3rd and 39th division, which is about, what, um, 900-ish AV, will be crossing over here to Shangtan against one core. We should be able to manage that. There we go. That's good. Just wait on our forces to cross over here, and then we'll, launch, we'll go ahead and launch another attack. Yes, uh, they're in movement mode now, uh, because they won't arrive this turn. They'll do 15 miles in the next turn, and uh, then we go into combat, and then we cross on the fourth turn. Uh, he could have bought a division, but then the question comes down to where is he going to actually use that division, really? I mean, this is why I've gone ahead and left behind... So Fuso and Yamashiro are going to remain, uh, sorry, remain over here behind uh, to essentially act as a actual solid surface combatant force. Uh, we do have 150 aircraft over here. We have 123 zeros, 119, sorry, um, ready. And then we have about 30 or so bombers. A couple zeros there that'll be moved over. And then we have the additional bombers in this area too. It looks like we did have the first KUS that's arrived over here as the A5M4 claws. So that's actually quite good. We might be able to actually build that unit up too. That's cool. Okay, but I am rather quickly out of time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been good to get another turn back. So I can go ahead and send this over to Gary. Let him actually go ahead and do his jamming, jamming, jamming thing. And uh, yeah, hopefully get this sent back tonight if I can. There we go. So thank you for watching then, ladies and gentlemen. I will be live in about 10 minutes on the Sylvan channel, so I'll see you there. So, I'll see you there if you're going to be there. Goodbye for now.